Part C. Listening. Page 100. Listen and repeat. Frightening speed. Australia. Sahara. Firewood. Petroleum. Mauritania. Unit 9. Deserts. Part A. Reading. Page 96. Three great stretches of sandy desert almost circle the center of Australia. To the north of Nullarbor Plain stretches the great Victoria Desert. In the west, the Gibbon, Great Sandy, and Tanami deserts comprise an enormous sandy area. North of Lake Eyre lies the Simpson Desert, the last part of Australia to be explored. The Simpson Desert lies between Lake Eyre in the south, the Macdonnell Ranges in the north, the Mulligan and the Diamantina Rivers in the east, and the Macumba and Fink Rivers in the west. The first European entered the Simpson Desert in 1845. But the desert remained a mystery until Madigan made an aerial survey in 1929. He named the desert after Simpson, president of the South Australian branch of the Royal Geographical Society of Australia. In 1936, Colson and an Australian Aborigine took camels across the desert. They travelled along the border of South Australia and the Northern Territory. Three years later, Madigan led a scientific expedition across the sand dunes on a more northerly route. Colson and Madigan both travelled eastward across the Simpson Desert. In the Simpson Desert, there are different types of dunes. In the western part of the desert, there is a network of short dunes, mostly less than 10 meters high. Hummock grasses grow in loose sand on the crest, and spinifex grows in the corridors between dunes and on the more stable slopes. In the northern part of the desert, the dunes are parallel and separated by corridors of low, open shrubland. Spinifex grows on the slopes of the dunes. These dunes are deep red-brown, but the sand is pale in the area where Queensland, South Australia and Northern Territory meet. Dry salt lakes up to 70 kilometres long and 15 kilometres wide lie between long dunes with crests 20 metres high. Task 1 you will hear an expert talking about deserts, what they are, and how they are formed. Listen to his talk and decide whether the statements are true or false. Hello, everyone. In today's talk, I'm going to tell you something about deserts, what they are, and how they are formed. A desert is a hot, dry, sandy place. A desert is also a beautiful land of silence and space. The sun shines, the wind blows, and time and space seem endless. Nothing is soft. The sand and the rocks are hard, and many of the plants, such as the cactus, have hard needles instead of leaves. The size and location of the world's deserts are always changing. Over millions of years, as climates change and mountains rise, new dry and wet areas develop. But within the last 100 years, deserts have been growing at a frightening speed. This is partly because of natural changes but the greatest desert makers 
are humans. In the 19th century, some people living in English colonies in Australia got rabbits from England. Today, there are millions of rabbits in Australia, and they eat every plant they can find. The great desert that covers the center of Australia is growing. Farming first began in the Tigris Euphrates, but today, The land there is a desert. In dry areas, people can plant crops on dry and poor land. When there are one or two very dry years, the plants die and the land becomes desert. In developing countries, 90% of the people use wood for cooking and heat. They cut down trees. For firewood, but trees are important. They cool the land under them and keep the sun off smaller plants. When leaves fall from a tree, they make the land richer. When the trees are gone, the smaller plants die and the land becomes desert. Humans can make deserts, but humans can also prevent their growth. Algeria planted a green wall of trees across the edge of the Sahara to stop the desert sand from spreading. Mauritania planted a similar wall around its capital. Iran puts a thin covering of petroleum on sandy areas and plants trees. Other countries build long canals to bring water. To the desert areas. Well, that's all for my talk. Thank you for listening. Task three: Listen to part of the experts talk again, and fill in the missing words. In developing countries, ninety percent of the people use wood for cooking and heat. They cut down trees for firewood. But trees are important. They cool the land under them, and keep the sun off smaller plants. When leaves fall from a tree, they make the land richer. When the trees are gone, the smaller plants die, and the land becomes desert. Humans can make deserts, but humans can also prevent their growth. Algeria. Planted a green wall of trees across the edge of the Sahara to stop the desert sand from spreading. Mauritania planted a similar wall around its capital. Iran puts a thin covering of petroleum on sandy areas and plants trees. Other countries build long canals to bring water to the desert areas. Part E, language focus, page one o three. Pronunciation. Read the following phrases. Pay attention to how the full and contracted forms of the auxiliaries are pronounced. I am. I'm. You are. Your. He is. He's. She is, she's. It is, it's. We are, we're. They are, they're. I shall, I will, I'll. You will, you'll. He will, he'll. She will, she'll. It will, it'll. We shall, we will, we'll. They will, they'll. Practice reading these sentences. I think I'll buy a motorbike. You'll notice that there's a girl coming. 
It'll be much better if you could do it. We'll have to talk to her. She's feeling much better now. They're students. He'll be seventeen next month.